start okay so we have all the people here and thank you okay guys i promised you one thing all the people who are coming at the 9 pm batch regularly so all... we have completed this. i know we have completed this yes aditi we have done it we are just revising it very fast okay and then we'll revise the whole chapter once more okay so batch one people who are there batch one people i know you all have completed this but we are doing it once more so that we can revise it because day before yesterday i went pretty fast through it take it so just let me change the layout a little bit okay everyone is visible now okay now so oh uh, aditi yours only the first one Beryllium has exceptionally small atomic and ionic sizes, and thus does not compare well with other members of the group. Because of high ionization intensity and small size, it forms compounds which are nasty covalent and get easily hydrolyzed. Perfect. Okay, all the first elements, that is all period two elements. Okay. like them beryllium also shows anomalous behavior it does not show the same properties as the other elements of this group okay basically because of its small size that's the first point that they say it is the smallest in the group so it has a small size now a small size means it has a very high ionization enthalpy okay and also because of its small size it easily gets hydrolyzed so the whole paragraph can be jotted down in note form by just these few words this is how you should write notes i don't know uh, in the new format of the paper i don't know if they are teaching you all how to do the note making in english there yeah. there yes, yes they are okay yeah. so if you look at this uh, you know if you look at this first paragraph according to the first paragraph this would be the notes of the first paragraph theek hai so side by side hum english bhi kar rahe english ka i i you know there was a time i used to teach english also and i really loved one of the favorite topics that i loved teaching was uh, julius caesar okay the other one that i used to love teaching in class uh, in class 11 you all have i think so to turn common no yes yeah yes, uh, i don't have the chapter at all <laughs> okay and in in class 12 so there are many stories that i love there are so many stories that you know are very good one of the poems is come till 12 and i'll go okay then there is another story about the world war uh, with japan okay the enemy and then in class 11th one of the best portraits the portrait kushwan singh writing a portrait about his grandmother about the white hair you know flowing down and all and all those wrinkles on her face there are some good ones now okay second ananya please read this one very very really does not exhibit any coordination number more than 4 as in its valence shell there are only four orbitals the remaining members of the group can have a coordination number of 6 by making use of d orbitals okay now beryllium does not exhibit coordination number of 4 now what is coordination number coordination number is if this is me okay if this is me if there are four people directly in contact with me sitting very close to me they will be counted in coordination number other people who are not in contact with me will not be counted in the coordination number so jo line ke sath bana hai wo coordination number mein count hoga ye dotted line wala jo direct contact mein nahi hai will not be counted in the coordination number so beryllium just shows a coordination number of 4 and why it has four orbitals nobody asked me day before yesterday how come four orbitals well beryllium is what a 2s2 so how does a 2s2 have four orbitals can anyone tell me
Waiting. Empty exactly. An empty P orbital is there. So what happens is something like what you had seen in your carbon. The electron jumps from the S and it goes to the P and now it can form a coordination number of 4. So basically, here the important thing we are is it can show a coordination number of 4. The other elements are going to show a coordination number of? How much? 6. six. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the third one, Angelina? The oxide and hydroxide of beryllium, unlike the hydroxides of other elements in the group, are amphoteric in nature. Okay. All the oxides, all oxides and hydroxides of group 2 are basic and if they are soluble in water, they will also be known as alkaline in nature. It is only the oxide of beryllium and the oxide of hydroxide is what? They are amphoteric in nature. So I have asked both the batches to put it down on the list that it is not just zinc or aluminium that is amphoteric in nature. It is also beryllium plus beryllium here. The next one, beryllium shows a diagonal relationship with aluminium. So if aluminium is amphoteric in nature, beryllium would also be amphoteric in nature. Okay. So Miss Mehta, the first one and the diagonal relationship. Like aluminium, beryllium is not readily attacked by acids because of the presence of an oxide film on the surface of the metal. Perfect. Now, in class 10, in the first chapter, when we were doing corrosion, we had studied that our corrosion is not always harmful in nature. In elements like aluminium, corrosion is helpful. When a layer of aluminium oxide is formed, now, this layer is highly unreactive. So, when it becomes unreactive, it protects the inner layer of aluminium and does not allow it to be corroded. Now, since beryllium and aluminium show a diagonal relationship, the same thing happens with beryllium, where beryllium also forms an unreactive layer of beryllium oxide. Okay. So, Ms. Sagewell, the next one is for you, Beda. Sir, but what do they mean by diagonal relationship? Diagonal relationship matlab, agar aap periodic table dekho ge, Beda, to aapka group 2 likh rao, aur uske baad se group 3 likh hoonga. Group 2, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and neon. Up group, sorry, period 2 and period 3. Agar up period 3 pe aayenge beta, lithium ke niche sodium aata hai, beryllium ke niche magnesium, boron ke niche aluminium, carbon ke niche silicon, nitrogen ke niche phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine and argon. Diagonal relationship ka matlab hota hai, Lithium's property is going to match with magnesium. Beryllium's property is going to match with aluminium. Boron is going to match with silicon. Why does it happen like this? Because the chemical property depends upon two things better. One, it depends upon the atomic size. Okay. The two, it depends upon the electronic configuration. Ab here, electronic configuration cannot be the answer because this is an S1, this is an S2, this is a P1, so, and this is a P2. It cannot be the answer. So, the answer would be in the atomic size. When we go from left to right, the size decreases. When we go from top to bottom, the size increases. So, lithium and magnesium have similar sizes. Beryllium and aluminium have similar sizes. Boron and silicon have similar sizes due to which they show similar chemi chemical properties and this similarity in chemical properties is known as the diagonal relationship. Take care.
Okay, sure. And that makes me happy at 9.15 because I love taking up doubts. Okay. There may be times that I may not know a question that you ask, but then it gives me, you know, it gives me that curiosity to find. Okay. And that makes me pretty happy. So, yes, Beta Bhumita, please read the second one. Beryllium hydroxide dissolves in excess of alkalis to give beryllate ion, just as aluminium hydroxide gives aluminate ion. Okay. So, this point may basically the value point that you need to remember is the beryllate ion and its similarity with aluminium, the aluminate ion. So, this main aapko yaad karna hai ki ye do word agar aapko yaad hai, to automatically pura ka pura point is learned by you. So, Chirag, the third point beta. The chlorides of both beryllium and aluminium have Cl negative bridged chloride structure in vapor phase. Both the chlorides are soluble in organic solvents and are strong Lewis acids. They are used as a uh, Friedel craft uh, catalyst. Perfect. So now, what we did in the last class in both the batches. Once more, BE forms covalent bonds. So when BE forms covalent bonds with chlorine, we get a bond like this. Okay, we get a bond like this. Likewise, with another chlorine, we get a bond like this. Now, this chlorine, okay, forms a coordinate bond with another beryllium out here. Okay, ye aise hai. Ab humne hamesha kya pada hai? To form a coordinate bond, the octet should be complete and it should have a lone pair. So, the conditions are met. It forms a coordinate bond like this. It forms a coordinate bond like this. So, beryllium is forming what? It is forming a bridged compound like this with other beryllium chlorides. So, in a similar manner, aapka aluminium bhi dekho ge to. Aluminium ke paas, three electrons are there. It forms bonds with chlorine. It forms bonds with chlorine. And it forms bonds with chlorine. Now, if you look just at aluminium, concentrate on the aluminium. How many electrons does it have now? Six. Six. Now, six means electron deficient, electron rich, electron precise. Electron deficient. Electron deficient. deficient. Now, if it is electron deficient, to complete its octet, it wants to do something by. And what will it do is, Dusra jo aluminium chloride aise bana hai. Yaha pe dusra jo aluminium chloride hai. Wo chlorine. Again chlorine. Octet is complete. Okay. Lone pair of electrons are there. So it is going to form a bridge compound like this. Which you will study in P block elements. So beryllium chloride as well as aluminium chloride. Both form bridged compounds. So, is me yad karne wala cheech kya hai? Both form bridged compounds, number one. Okay, number two, both of them are electron deficient. Okay, and anything that is electron deficient wishes to accept electron. And anything that is an electron acceptor is a Lewis acid. So, in five words, the whole paragraph can be formed into a note. And that is how I want you all to make the note. Because the exam is hai, ek din ka gap is hai, to sare chapters ek saath padna aur learn karna is mushkil. But notes jab aapne likh liya aise, it is easy to read, it becomes faster, you are efficient. Now when you don't understand bridged, you straight away go only to that topic and you read that topic. So that ways you'll save a lot of time and your efficiency will increase. And yes, your marks will also increase. Though I'm not a very big fan of marks, but yes, 
till the time we are studying, till the time we are in school, in the eyes of the parents, in the eyes of the world, in the eyes of newspapers, marks mean a lot of things. Okay, now the next one we go to Pranav. Pranav, the fourth one, better. Yes, sir. Beryllium and aluminium ions have strong tendency to form complexes um, beryllium fluoride and aluminium fluoride. Okay. Now, these are basically, how do we write them? Maan lo ki isme na ek aur aayega sodium. Ab 2 negative hai, to Na2 ho jayega. And bracket, box bracket ke andar, BEF4 aise aata hai. Ab dekhna ha, class 12 mein iska naam aap kaise likho ge? Abhi to in, in 11th, we called it a fluoride. But in 12th, we do not call it a fluoride. It is a sodium. Okay, look at the name. Huh? It is written in such a nice way. Sodium tetrafluoroberylate. Okay, and in brackets, Roman me too. This is its actual name. Okay, so again, it is berylate. Jo humne upar thodi der pehle kiya tha. Okay, so that is how the name is. Now, now we come to the rectification part of the chapter. Kyunki isme sirf reaction, reaction, reaction hai. Okay, calcium oxide, the common name is quicklime. People who had studied with me in class 10, I had told you how to learn this thing. How do I learn this thing? Number one, I need to know the chemical name. Number two, Okay, I need to know the formula. <clears throat> Number three, I need to know the common name, if any. Okay, then I need to know its preparation. And then I need to know its properties. And then finally, I need to know its uses. Now, my request to all of y'all, if you want to make your life easy during the exam, do what? Make, take an A4 sheet, take a chart paper, take an A3 sheet, whatever, and make a table like this out here. Write the name of the compound here, or even if you don't write, it will come straight away. You have the chemical name, you have the chemical formula, you have the common name, you have the preparation, you have the properties, and you have the uses. Every compound of S1 and S2 ka agar aap aise bana loge, to aapka zyada se zyada do sheet mein kaam ho jayega. And just imagine how easy it will be for you to learn. Okay, so I have always said, I am a lazy man, but... I am also a hard-working fellow and I also like to work a little smart. I may be a Buddha fellow, but I like working a little smart. And that is what I like to organize it. Now, if I have it like this, initially my hard work is that I will have half an hour to make a table if I table to make a table. But if I table, to make exam time, mein, Jo paanch ghante lagenge isko dhoondne aur yaad karne mein, I will do it in five minutes. So I would rather be lazy during the exam time than be lazy right now. Okay. So the first one is the preparation. Hamne calcium carbonate ko liya, we heat it. We studied that the carbonates of our group 2, the initial carbonates can be broken down to give their oxides and carbon dioxide gas. Okay, but this thermal stability of the carbonate increases down the group and barium carbonate is the most stable one. Then the next two reactions are the properties. In the properties, calcium oxide reacts with water to give us calcium hydroxide. Now, the common name of it is lime water. The other one is the calcium oxide reacts with carbon dioxide to give us calcium carbonate. And the common name is? 
time scale. Yes, that took some time. Okay, the next one is again property number three, where we are getting a calcium silicate at a calcium phosphate. These two compounds are important when we are going to study our formation of cement. Now, I am teaching you all everything, huh, guys. There are some topics from this chapter, not some topics. There are many topics from this chapter which is not going to come in your second term. But I'm sure almost all of you all are planning to give the entrances. In entrances, none of the topics are cut. Okay? So, jab exam nazdik aa jayega, us samay jo jo term 2 mein nahi aane wala hoga, hum nahi karenge. Lekin abhi hamare paas time hai, we will do it right now. Okay? So, with your permission, everyone, I would like to touch the topics even though it is not there in the syllabus. Is it fine with everyone? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Now we go to Sandra. Sandra, use number one better. It is an important primary material for manufacturing cement and is the cheapest form of alkaline. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now, then we go to Vasudha. Number two. It is used in the manufacture of sodium carbonate from caustic soda. Okay. And then we go to Aditi. Number three. It is employed in purification of sugar and in manufacture of dye stuff. Okay. Now we come to the next one. Calcium hydroxide, slate lime, lime water, CaOH hold twice. Okay. Now this. We have done it so many times, so many times. Test of what? Carbon Test dioxide. Carbon dioxide. In the first reaction, the word that we have always done while we are doing the first reaction is? It turns milky. It turns milky. And then in the second reaction, the milkiness disappears because? Due to excessive passing of carbon dioxide. Exactly. And milkiness is because calcium carbonate is insoluble in water. But calcium bicarbonate is? Soluble. Exactly. And this reaction, we had done it in the first term in removal of temporary hardness of water. Where we took calcium bicarbonate, heated it. And we got calcium carbonate and the temporary hardness was removed. Okay. Here a note of caution. Almost all the people who were pretty sincere and learned the formula of bleaching powder in class 10. In class 10 bleaching powder, the formula we had done was a CaOCl2. Not anymore in class 11. The formula for bleaching powder in class 11 is a ca bracket ocl hold twice so this is the formation of bleaching powder again properties okay alexi the first use beta it is used in the preparation of motors a building material perfect then uh, ananya the second one It is used in whitewash due to its disinfected nature. Okay, here I want to test your English because we are going to use it in chemistry also. What is the difference between a disinfectant and an antiseptic? Disinfectant is used on non-living things Hota same both of them kill microbes but a disinfectant is used on non-living things and an antiseptic is used on living things okay jaise ki tincture of iodine is an antiseptic okay phenyl is agar high concentration mein hoga jaise ghar pe hai so that is a disinfectant. But when you add a lot of water to it, then it becomes an antiseptic. 
तो घर में अगर बोरोलिन बोरो प्लस कुछ ना मिले कोई भी एंटीसेप्टिक नहीं मिले तो फिनाइल लो उसको बहुत ज्यादा पानी में अप्रोक्सीमेटली एक लीटर में सिर्फ तीन या चार बूंद डाल के यू कैन यूज इट एज एन एंटीसेप्टिक ठीक है जी सो इज दिस डिफरेंस क्लियर अकॉर्डिंग टू केमिस्ट्री ओके नाउ वी कम टू टर्न इज इट अनन्या अनन्या द थर्ड वन Ananya is having dinner. It is used in glass making, <laughs> in tanning industry for preparation of bleaching powder and for purification of sugar. Uh, that means she was actually having dinner, right, Ananya? <laughs> I just read the previous one also. <laughs> okay. Now the next one is calcium carbonate. Okay. These are the two preparations that we have already done when. ये अभी अभी ऊपर किया था प्रिपरेशन नंबर वन एंड दिस व्हेन वी हैड डन व्हेन वी वर डूइंग कार्बोनेट्स हाउ टू प्रिपेयर कार्बोनेट्स ऑफ आवर ग्रुप टू एलिमेंट्स वी कैन नॉट प्रिपेयर कार्बोनेट्स डायरेक्टली अब वी कैन नॉट टेक अ कार्बोनिक एसिड एंड यू नो अ कैल्शियम एंड गेट अ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट नो वी डू नॉट गेट दिस दिस रिएक्शन इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो टू प्रिपेयर इट वी टेक अ सोल्यूबल सॉल्ट ऑफ ग्रुप टू मेटल and then react it with a carbonate so we get a calcium carbonate here this is property number 1 again upar kar liya to again like i always say be hard worker and a smart worker upar yaad kar liya to bhaiya upar hard work aapne kar liya niche aapko yaad hi nahi karna to smart work hai you don't need to learn it again some people go ahead and keep on learning the same things again and again so please don't be like that okay you have learned it now it is just you that you need to revise it uh, now the next reaction is again a uh, something that you have done in class 10 a carbonate when it reacts with an acid it always gives us a salt okay and a carbon dioxide and water similarly a bicarbonate also when it reacts with an acid it gives us a salt a carbon dioxide gas and pani theek hai so here we have with hcl so the salt that we are going to get is calcium chloride and here we have an h2so4 so the salt that we are going to get is a calcium sulfate okay ab <clears throat> pop pop not mr pop it is plaster of paris calcium sulfate hemihydrate made from what made from gypsum again a note of caution in class 11 we write pop in this manner and not in this manner that we studied it in class 10 okay because half a molecule of water is not possible so what do we do to remove that half a molecule of water we multiply the whole thing by 2 so it becomes two molecules of calcium sulfate with one molecule of water as water of crystallization theek hai now we use cement almost every way to build buildings okay so cement ka average composition it should have calcium oxide silicon dioxide magnesium oxide iron oxide and sulfur trioxide okay and the concentrations are given now i gave this to you why because if it is an objective paper the concentration could come and i want y'all to get a 100 out of 100 because i never got it my highest marks ever was in class 10 that was a 99 uske baad pehle kabhi bhi 100 nahi aaya so you know i i i shouldn't be doing that but i live my dreams to my children when they get a 100 out of 100 in a way it is like you know i have got that 100 now 
the cement that we use after we mix all of them together, the main constituents are dicalcium silicate, Ca2SiO4, tricalcium silicate, Ca3SiO5, and tricalcium aluminate, that is a Ca3Al2O6. Now, metals are important for our body. Okay, magnesium and calcium in group one, we had done sodium, potassium, the most important elements required to maintain the pressure of our body. In the same way, we have magnesium and calcium. So I would want Vasudha to read the first one. An adult body uh, contains about 25 grams of Mg and 1200 grams of Ca compared with only 5 grams of iron and 0.6 grams of copper. The daily requirements in the human body has been estimated to be about around 200 to 300 Mg. Okay. In diet, mein 200 to 300 Mg total of magnesium and calcium together should be there, a balanced diet does not just mean that I am eating KFC ka chicken or I am eating Burger King ka burger. It should have all these things also. So, and you know, a very, now I'm digressing, I'm sorry, from the syllabus. A doctor once upon a time had told me categorically, a healthy six-year-old will be a healthy 16-year-old will be a healthy 60 year old so everything that tastes good may not be good so you need to have a proper diet so that you remain healthy at the age that you are in right now so that you are healthy when you grow old and wrinkly perhaps not because age can just be a number okay now the second one sandra All enzymes that utilize ATP in phosphate transfer require magnesium as a cofactor. Okay. Cofactor is something which helps the ATP to combine with phosphates so that it can become the energy currency. Okay. People with bio will do more about it, but people in chemistry, it is just a word that needs to be learned. Now, Pranav, the next one. The main pigment for the absorption of light in plants is chlorophyll, which contains magnesium. Okay. I, I really want you all to, you know, look at the video of photosynthesis. Okay. In relation to, in relation to quantum theory, when I taught you all that quantum thing, I was not able to show you all the video. I forgot to show you all the video in first term, but I would want you all to go through that. You'll be surprised, man. It is such a wonderful video. And suddenly wo particle energy banke yahan jake particle ban gaya. Fir wo yahan particle energy banke yahan jake, you know, it forms. Otherwise, just imagine ya carbon dioxide and water ko agar mujhe lab me ग्लूकोस बनाना है तो भैया बहुत ही ज्यादा पैसे खर्च होने वाले हैं यहां पे लीफ के अंदर जस्ट बाय यूजिंग क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स इट कैन बी डन एंड यू नो इफ क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स को इफ वी लर्न हाउ टू कंट्रोल इट वी वुड बी स्पीकिंग टू एवरीवन इन रियल टाइम वी वुड बी ट्रैवलिंग इन रियल टाइम मतलब पलक झपका और यूएसए पहुंच गए all the matter would be converted to energy and then all that energy would become matter in USA. Wapas. Just imagine. So if you had to meet your friend, Papa is in another room, Palak Jhapka, in your friend's place. And you can hear your Papa calling you, Palak Jhapka, Wapas in your room. Kitna mazadar hoga. I hope it becomes a possibility in your lifetime. You will have great fun with that technology. Okay. Now, Chirag, the last one, better. About 99% of body 
calcium is present in bones and teeth it also plays important role in neuromuscular function inter uh, interneural transmission cell membrane integrity and blood blood uh, coagulation uh, the calcium concentration in plasma is regulated at about 100 uh, mgl minus 1 that is, is maintained by milligram per liter okay it is maintained by two hormones calcitonin and pa- uh, parathyroid hormone perfect okay now it is not just for the bones and teeth you want your nerves and muscles to function well you need to have calcium you want between the nerves it to function well you need to have calcium you want your cell membrane to be good you need to have calcium you want the blood to coagulate fast and not leak out so as to decrease your blood pressure you need calcium okay so this calcium is regulated by two hormones just like blood sugar sugar is regulated not just by insulin what is the other hormone that regulates blood sugar glucagon insulin decreases the blood sugar level glucagon increases the blood sugar level in the same way calcitonin and parathyroid hormones are responsible for maintaining the balance of calcium in our body and my dear friends that's the end of this chapter and i want you to go through go through what go through the back questions and the in text questions to see if you are getting any doubts so that we can check if there are any doubts will solve it and then move forward okay the next chapter i would love to start is our equilibrium take it chalo then bye bye good night second last day of this year for some people i'll meet them tomorrow for others i'll meet them day after tomorrow so for some people it will be i'll be meeting them in 2021 and the others i'll meet them in 2022 so bye bye guys see you take care thank you sir thank you sir pleasure you. pleasure sir saturday class hoga soch to raha hu le lo kyun nahi nahi sir ho raha <laughs> generally what happens is people celebrate it on 31st night and all the way till the morning first so people may be free in the evening so yes i would love to take a class okay sir okay bye bye good night thank you sir yeah good night beta good night thank you sir good night beta good night sir i need out yes beta bolo